Hello, welcome <laughs> to the <Hello>? barrel roll. <laughs> I, would, I don't know what your hand was doing there. That's why I was paused for a second. Hi. 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 The barrel roll post credit show. October 22nd. 2016. Still. still. Oh, are we just. You, you can't see us. We're having a good time underneath this knot table. Under this knot table. The three primary colors. Yes. I like. I still like to say that I wore a Pokemon shirt three weeks in a row. I was trying. I just purged like a bunch of my shirts. So I was looking for something with something that we were talking about today. Like, I'm going, oh man, I gotta try it. Like, so I got my, my Nintendo. I wore the shirt to. Not a bar. But it was like a restaurant or something like that, and I guess the waitress was like, oh, "I like your shirt." I get, I get that a lot. And then like, "Yeah, it's Pikachu. It's got a tail too." And so, and a tail? Yeah. <laughs> and so, <laughs> so I, inst- I instinctively like uh. turned around and uh. said, "There's tail too." And then my colleague was like, "Glenn, you really showed her the guns with that tail." I'm like, "Oh, yeah. I didn't even think of that." <laughs> and I'm like, "And I'm like, yeah, yeah it's got a tail a, too. Oh, yeah, I don't tail back here." <laughs> and I'm like, "Man, if I was not in a..." Awesome relationship. That would have been a really good pickup line. <laughs> Great move. That's got tail. You always think of the good moves after after your relationship. <laughs> Before that, you're just like, so I have hair. <laughs> you like hair too? Do you enjoy hair? These are tips. Write them down. Why are you not writing? <laughs> <laughs> Start taking notes. Girls like hair. Girls <laughs> like hair. <laughs> okay, so post credit show. That out of the way. On our show, this <laughs> when we talk about what we've been playing, what we've been watching. Oh, what do we, what do, we do? That stuff. So cough through your whole intro. That's fine. <laughs> we, we try to speak as loud. It's as a pretty we good can. microphone, and it's right in front of us. So we put so, it over here for a reason. <laughs> keep, keep so it's quiet. off camera. Yeah. <laughs> what microphone? We just speak to the TV. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how any of this works. <laughs> Magic. Um, we started with Graham last week. Yes. Do we, do we want to go down this way? Do we, yeah, we'll we... just go this All right. way. Yeah. Graham. Graham. Oh, no. What have you been playing and or watching? Well, Not I watched... Battle. No, I'm Not watching. Battlefield 1. I watched... <laughs> I don't think I've watched any movies, but I did watch the... Uh, I don't know if this was last week. The new Planket Review. The what? Planket Review. He for did, Star Wars. He does Star Wars reviews. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Another YouTube site. Yeah. And then I watched all of season eight of Robot Chicken. Wow. <laughs> that's that's impressive. Man. Which, how did you how did you feel coming out of that? A little you, sick, some kinda of groggy, like, like uh, I love Robot Chicken. That's uh, a lot of Robot Chicken. Yeah. <laughs> Keep in mind like it's short bits every five yeah. seconds, right? Yeah. Oh. How do you feel? Did you have a seizure? Do you remember? It was real life. And, and the funniest part was I'd watch it when I was suffering from insomnia. So it would be in like the middle of, like, 3 o'clock in the morning, like, I can't fall asleep. So I, like, cr- I have a bunk bed, so I cram my phone into the bunk, because I have the Adult Swim app. <laughs> so I just, just hit go. Hit go, and I just lay there and watch. So, like, <laughs> after, after, you're, after you're done, it's like, what is life anymore? Because it's like, <laughs> that's what you've been watching. Cl- stop motion claymation, yeah. action figures, <laughs> just doing... Do we look re- stop motion to you? Is this a little a- bit. Your, your, your movements look... So I can just hilariously jump in like tables. Like, as Abed <laughs> says, we have to move around more. We're animated. We might as well use it. Yes. You see this motion? It costs way more money just doing this right now. <laughs> Our budget motion. has gone through the roof. <laughs> in stop motion. That's and Robot on. Chicken. Is it, yeah. is, it, is it on season eight now? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I didn't even know it came out. And I'm like, oh. Wow. I'm actually surprised season. that show is still on. Good for Seth Green, like, in holy, all honesty. Yeah. yeah, like, that show came out of nowhere <laughs> when it first came out. It's like, this is the funniest thing ever. Oh, yeah. And admittedly, it got a little dry. Yes. Sure. But and even in this newest season, there's, like, about two good laughs. And it's like, so you would put it on a level of turn. losing steam. <laughs> I, I would, yeah. That's, that's, that's a marathon and a half. Right? Oh. Mm. <laughs> okay, do you watch anything that's wor- like brain usage or play anything that's brain usage? Oh, play. You finished something. Yeah. I finished XCOM 2. I actually finished an XCOM game. <laughs> Again, you're here still. <laughs> you, you, <laughs> His brain is not melted. Oh, you didn't yeah. punch your TV. <laughs> your, X, your Xbox is still in one piece. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I only used two Xboxes this time. Yeah, like. <laughs> oh, and, but I like cheated when we were on like Google. For like a good ten minutes before actually starting the final mission. Oh, so you Pla- to like that's not cheating. It's no. called pre-planning. It's oh, preparing yeah. yourself. Yeah, because 
and, and did every... you at least fail it once though? No. Oh, okay. So you we, we went prepared. in like this is gonna. I think we overcompensated to the point where like people were like, the difficulty is nuts when you go from like get going to the last mission. So we're like, okay, a team. All the best gear. Well, Let's and if it is the no, last mission, yeah. if people die, you're, you're, you're like, hey, we're well, yeah. you. You're you know. busting out everything, yeah. all the good yeah. stuff, right? You can use oh, all yeah. your We were. Because yeah. you can use all yeah. your good soldiers. Because, well, like, we had, you had to fight a boss that was insanely hard mm-hmm. to fight the first time we encountered him. Yeah. And we managed to plan well enough to kill the, the one boss. But the final boss is three of those guys and infinite spawning hordes with them. Oh, mm-hmm. So, and of course, the boss has a mind control ability, so if you didn't research that one little thing that shields you from mind control... That would have changed the course of the field. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, you would have lost your best guy. Oh, yeah. And your best guy... Like, I heard... We read on, like, like comments on the Google that people were like, yeah, I finished it, but I lost, like... The last guy I had managed to land that final blow. It's always a good feeling. It's a good <laughs> right? balance. It's a good balance. Of like, like I did it with, no, everyone was relatively full health. Used about half our health bags. You and, went, you went oh, and prepared. You went, oh, yeah, 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 I was yeah. just going to say, and there's nothing wrong with going in prepared. Right. Mm-hmm. What else did I play? Oh, I played the first two episodes of the Telltale game. Tell us, tell us how Yeah, you, tell us how your yeah. Telltale Batman adventure went. You Are should you? never give me money. <laughs> Did you s- no, you should always give As us money. As a billionaire. At patreon.com slash brnn. Okay, make me a billionaire, but don't make me a superhero billionaire. Why, did you buy everything? There was a moment in the game, you, you, you played it obviously, yep. you're in the park talking to Oswald the Cobblepot. Cobblepot. Who's not yet the penguin. And I was really confused, because I'm like, where's the dialogue option to join him? Oh, right. I'm like, there's, you just say no three different ways. I'm like, where's the, like, I'm like, well, maybe it's the next, so I did, like, that don't say anything. And I'm waiting, and I'm like, why can't I join him? And then it occurred to me, I'm like, oh, because he's supposed to be the bad guy. Yeah. I was, like, really gung-ho for his plan. <laughs> he, wants, he wants to start a revolution. Bruce is just like, like yeah, yes. yeah, revolution, this is, this is good. I'm like, oh. This city, this city needs to be revitalized, the way you're thinking. Couple plot. <laughs> Evil. So there's literally Evil a few Batman. moments in that which, like, because you didn't like the idea they incorporated the Waynes as, like, possible, possible bad guys. Bad yeah. guys. Possible. It worked for me, though, because I kept getting tempted into that. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, okay, well, this is interesting. Hmm. And then, of course, I had no interest in having a relationship with Selena Gomez there. Selena, Selena Kyle. Kyle. <laughs> Gomez. <laughs> don't, said, this game don't, is not... What? Don't, don't cast Selena Gomez in that... In the Justice League movie? No, 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 no. Michelle, Michelle Pfeiffer please, is the please, only please, Catwoman please. for me. Please, please, please. So I, I had no interest in being in a relationship with her, which you said is what happened, so you were pursuing it. Yeah. And, and so you saved Harvey Dent. And I saved Harvey Dent. Did you actually save him? Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> this is the, the, the game had a really hilarious moment, though. So you save him from getting his face burnt. The final scene is he's laying in a hospital bed with, like, a little black eye. Sure. But the scene's set up to look like, you know, cinematically, to look like, oh, he's laying in the bed and he's all fucked up, but he isn't fucked up looking. Yeah. And then and then it pans out and, you know, the police lieutenant, Gordon, Gordon is like, commissioner yet. oh, it's good that you saved him, Batman. Or Bruce. Bruce. Bruce yeah. Or it's what good that Batman saved, saved him, him, Bruce. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> And then yes, Bruce yes, is yes, like, oh, but, 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 uh, but he'll have really bad scars. I'm like, so you the couldn't op- have recorded a different line for that? So the dialogue, The black guy? Yeah, the, the, the dialogue the stayed did. regardless of whether or not he was burnt. So, well, go ahead. <laughs> well, I'm thinking, like, in your playthrough, his face his is His face is gone. Like, yeah. His, yeah. yeah. But in yours, does that mean you're going to have an extra event? Right. Because you can't, Harvey Dent can't they already be fo- Two-Face. But maybe he doesn't become Two Face in his story, right? That's gonna be so maybe wild. his takes a different like, and that would be an amazing twist. Is all of a sudden, my game goes, whoosh, and your game goes, whoosh, yeah, like in yeah. complete oh, yeah, opposite yeah, yeah, directions. Yeah. Not even just like someone remembers this, but a legitimate like your story arc now has to do this, and mine goes this way, yeah. and maybe we'll meet back up for episode four. But your episode three is gonna be a completely. I wouldn't be surprised story. if episode three opened with your game, mm. like some sort of like medical. Op- 
procedure went wrong. They were trying to repair his eye and yeah. <laughs> his black and then, eye. And then, like, went, you only had a black eye, but the, the surgeon was drunk and it just started carving chunks off your face. <laughs> and then still the asset on it for good measure. <laughs> uh, what happened to Selena Kyle? She, she was fine. Okay. Which they also wrote that out as like, oh, she just takes a shotgun blast to the shoulder and she kind of limps away. Okay. And they're following oh. her blood trail and she's like, because I, I was even thinking about that in that moment. I'm like, she can handle herself. <laughs> and that's, but I thought that too, yeah. but I'm like, I legitimately went, yeah. I need him to become Two-Face. Oh, he yeah. clearly has to, like, it doesn't matter but what you, I... <coughs> but you don't need, you don't have that knowledge, though. No, yeah, no. Right, right? And that's why this is a totally different playthrough for me. Like, you know Two-Face. Yeah. yeah. And of course... You don't know Two-Face. Yeah. Now you do. And hey. even, like, the whole relationship <coughs> thing, too. Like, I don't know if Batman's supposed to have a big crush on they her. They have kids. So every... So, so, wow, Spoilers. okay. So, but, so every time there's <coughs> a little relationship moment, I'm like, no, go away. Leave me alone. I like that reporter chick. Vicky Vale. He yeah. also has a relationship with Vicky Vale. <laughs> yeah, Although it's funny because every time she appears on my on my game, I go back to like the first episode of Chuck. Because on Chuck, the te- television show was the oh, guy who yeah. works in a Best Buy. Yeah, but not a Best Buy. It was something else. Not, yeah. not Best Buy. Oh, yeah, not Best yeah. Buy, but Best Buy. Yeah. Um, the first scene where Sarah walks in, it she's this cute blonde chick. Yeah. And his buddy comes up and goes like, "Who's the Vicky Vale coming in?" And he goes. Vicky Vale, Vicky, Vicky Vale, Vicky, Vicky Vale. As she walks up to, like, the counter, and he's like, Vicky Vale. So every time she's like, Vicky Vale, and I'm like, Vicky, Vicky Vale, Vicky, 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 Vicky Vale. Oh. And she says something, and I'm like, oops. Like, <laughs> oh, crap. Was I have like, to make, oh, now to make a decision based on what she said. Yes. Well, like, even, like, the Falcone stuff, I was, like, totally on board with. So did you, Ooh. oh, now again, there's a scene where Falcone, yeah. as Batman, you can save him or, like, Thing out, yeah. I didn't oh, break I the dude's totally arm. Break his arm. That's what Batman yeah. would do in my mind. Because like, yeah. just wreck you're him. that Ben Affleck Batman. Yeah, 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 yeah. wreck him. Eat well, this I also didn't. I, didn't <laughs> I also didn't ally with Hill either. <laughs> like the the mayor, he's like, oh, oh you didn't ally with yeah. yeah I'll that one's a thing. If you back me instead, I'm like, that oh. one's a tough one to do because he's such a dick. Oh yeah, yeah. Like you legitimately yeah. have to go through that game. Like Falcone a second time. at least had like enough charm to him. Where I'm like, mm-hmm. I know you're a bad guy, but yeah, you're you're, you're coaxing me. He'll just comes in as a complete douche. Yeah, and you're like, no, like this just feels yeah, dirty. Yeah. At least Falcone, you're like, yeah, I so can who's see your the point. other here? Like, so is Scarecrow the other villain with Penguin? Because there's fear gas involved. Yeah, so yeah, I'm like, I'm leaning on that. Uh, that's where I'm leaning to. Yeah. I'm not sure. They, they made all the villains look very like I like I like <clears throat> what they did with Penguin's gas mask. That yep. was cool. They gave him yeah. the old medic like medic mask. Yeah. Yeah. It, look like the it looks like yeah. a penguin skull. Yeah. Nice. So that was cool. That was a nod. It, it's very yeah. naughty because yeah, it's supposed to be early Batman yep. before yeah. anything yeah. really happens. Because mm-hmm. I like Catwoman's costume. I thought she, they did a good job. I saw that. I yeah. s- I've seen pictures of that. That looks really good. Yeah. I'm interested to see what other characters <laughs> we're gonna bring in and I'm curious even about the Joker too. They're not they're not gonna touch that yet. I feel like if they're gonna do that, they're that's gonna tell, save that for Batman season, two. Season yeah. two, yeah, that's season two material because yeah. you can't yeah. just relegate Joker to an episode. Yeah, yeah. that might be yeah. the end of the last episode. Where it's, like, yeah. Yeah. where it's like, oh, you push this dude into, or this dude with the weird like cone thing fell into acid into the newspaper or something like that. And my and one then people will realize that's that's the killing joke. Yeah, <laughs> and they did bring in the shooter of his oh. parents. Into the whole mix. Oh yeah, something Frost, right? Yeah, and he's an actual like he chill. was one of Falcone. Chill, Joe Frost. chill, Joe Chill, mm. Joe Chill. He was mm. one of Falcone's guys. Mm. Yes, and that was that's canon still. Yeah, but then he the, the he got the hit, or he didn't, but someone else gets the hit because Wayne was starting to you know overstep things. So mm. it was an actual mob hit. It wasn't mm. just like oh yeah, mm, you know, it wasn't just like a random crime. Yeah, yeah. which again takes. That's changing a retconning. It takes bit. pieces kind of out of it where you're going. It's kind of making taking the cool bits out of the entirety of Batman's mm. lore. But it's telling its own story. So again, mm-hmm. as long as the story's actually decent, and it kind of pissed me off that I had to relive through his parents dying again. Yeah, I saw that. Didn't work out for it. But it was... didn't work out for you, did it? <laughs> how did how does his parents die? Idiot rich people walk down an alley, get shot, and get shot. 
But at least how many times do we need that scene? (laughs) But at least this one they play it out as Bruce is trying to remember details because now he's trying to see like like, see it from the perspective his dad might be a mobster. Yeah, yeah. so he's going back through it and it's like, man, they really like take that knife and be like. Remember, remember, remember his parents oh, are dead. Do you remember? There's even like dialogue options where like I'm going every chance they bring up my parents, I'm just gonna blow it off and be like, "Oh, it was a long time ago." But I'm that's my better thing. now. Batman, he does what he does for the betterment of his city because mm-hmm. that's what his parents were for the betterment of the city. It wasn't like I'm guilty over the death of my parents and like it I'm reminds me every day yeah. like I am brooding and evil because my parents are dead. It's like they never mentioned other than the fact that. They're dead. Yeah. I was raised super rich, became a ninja, and because I'm rich... I can be a badass ninja. <laughs> yeah, I can yeah. I wear the costume and have all the gadgets. Yeah. Sometimes it's just better off you don't look further and do it. Right. They, they died. He's an orphan. Yeah. Done. Yeah. yeah. I also it sounds like they're really... Get like... over playing the game, too. But nobody can figure out that Bruce Wayne's Batman. I'm like, oh, for fuck. Come on! <laughs> At least in the movies, they put the... Well, he has a voice thing, he, too. He clicks, does he? he, he yeah. clicks oh, does he? Yeah. Oh, okay. But he goes on and off so much that I'm like, if someone's overhearing you speak while you, you know, and they establish the scar on his face, I'm like, that's kind of an obvious scar now, too. Yeah, Catwoman scratches him right off the bat. And that's how Catwoman tells that's that how Selena, is. Yeah, Selena looks at him and he looks at her because she's got a black eye where he bopped her. And, and she's got, he's got the scratches and they both look at each other and it's like... <laughs> Shit, 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 shit. It was a cool scene. It's a great scene. It, yeah. then, and then you respond to her because she says something to you and it's like, do you play it cool or do you just like admit to it and just go along with it? Yeah. It's like, just admit it because... Oh, yeah. Oh. She's got the like, so like that's what you do. Like, what else do you do at night sort of thing? Kind yeah. Of. Uh, so, yeah. We'll and, try and get yeah. you our Twitch stuff and we'll try and get yeah. you. So, like, at least once you do episode three and I do yeah. episode three, you yeah. can compare yeah. what we do. Mm-hmm. I don't play Telltale games. I can't. I can't. I haven't played one in forever because I, I, I didn't can't. even make it through season one of Walking Dead. I did season that one was, of Walking Dead because yeah, that was the that was the first, yeah that was yeah. the it was the really marquee it was really good yeah. but there was such a break. Oh yeah, um, that was a problem too. And that's my problem with the episodic oh, stuff. Oh my god, not or, even episode or season two, just let's, between episodes. Uh, so. Let's address season three. Has to this, they want they're doing that too? Yeah. And I'm like, oh oh yeah. my god, thank god I've replayed it recently because I don't remember a thing. And I, I, I told this to you. I played season one mm. of Walking Dead on my PS3. Mm. Perfectly fine. I, I'd like to keep that save. Yeah. I since upgraded to a PS4. I, I actually, the saves I, doesn't... I got them again to replay them again. I don't think I could to... do... I don't think yeah. I could do... I replay them. I don't think I could do that again. Just I... because I, I want my decisions... I'm a little bit of an achievement whore, though, so I... Mm. I that was an... I like guess so. A thousand G for per game. <laughs> yeah, it's like... Yeah, auto. that's my and first... It's auto, right? Because there's no, like, oh, yeah, side yeah, stuff, There's right? literally just, like... You just need to finish the game. Yeah. And you get everything. And for me, again, I would I like to continue... relatively the same choices, too. And I'd like to continue playing off yeah. that first save, because, yeah, those yeah. are my choices in the moment. Yeah. Like, that's my game. Yeah. This is my my custom thing. If mm. I play through it again, I'm obviously going to make different choices to see what happens. Yeah. But it's not... And that's just I, for me to see, yeah. like, what the changes would be in yeah. the game. And there's YouTube videos for that if you really want to do that. Yeah, anyway. yeah. But for me, if I'm going to continue that save file, I want it to be that first game that mm. I played. Cause Same. Because I'm assuming yours yeah. is not... Did you play The yeah. Walking Dead on the PC or Xbox? Or PC. PC. Okay, so then you can still... PC? Ooh. Right? You don't <laughs> remember, right? It's been so long <laughs> since season one. And like I said, I didn't even make it through all of season one because it took so long for the episodes. I think I waited for all five to come on and then I just to drop. Sat there. I was almost going to do that for Batman until everybody started talking about it. I'm like, well, I can at least binge the first two. And if, and now the fact that we talk about it more, yeah. I think that helps because it's like, oh, Batman season one, you know, episode three came out. Okay, yeah. I'll play it. Yeah. And the fact yeah. that we're actually doing live streams now mm. helps with that because now it's yeah. like, okay, I've done episode one. Like, I've done episode one. I've done episode two. Yep. I'll play episode. Mm-hmm three to finish off the live stream stuff. Mm. So Is there only three episodes or five? There's five. five. Yeah, it's yeah. A typical five. Classic yeah. five, right? And each one of every Game time of you... Thrones did six and it was a little Tell, uh Minecraft is on the seven. Oh right, they like they story, made, yeah. yeah. Yeah, they made story plus or extra okay, chapter or something. I'll like admit that. the only telltale one I gave up. Like I I, did. I I played every single one since Walking Dead, but Minecraft lost me at I didn't like two. Minecraft. I, 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 I try I have the first episode because it was free on something. Yeah, I haven't awesome. even played it. I played about five minutes of it on the phone. I'm like, this is silly. This is not Minecraft. Oh, it was, it was it's not Minecraft. Yeah. <laughs> to me, I And don't... even, like, for 
Telltale game. Like it's that was a this, weird choice, right? This creeper will remember this. Every and, and every like <laughs> other one made sense. Like even some some ones that sh- at first wouldn't. I don't make, associate. Like, I don't associate no. Minecraft with story. Right? No. Right. Well, even like Tales from Borderlands, I was like, sure. Yeah. But then I realized, oh wait, Tales from or Borderlands has really good comedy, kind of. Yep. Yeah. In the background, if you just drug that to the forefront, you could run sure. with the you know. Yeah. No, Minecraft for me, and like I. I tell a lot of people, because mm. a lot of people ask, well, Minecraft? Do you play Minecraft? No. Because the Minecraft I remember was us running around on a server building inappropriate things and exploding <laughs> everything. And just digging as far as we can go down. And that's what I mean. <laughs> no. like, just playing around with it. And now there's so much. Minecraft VR, Minecraft like, Well, there's towns. villages. There's this. There's like... Yeah. And I'm going, there's too much. It used to be a game where you built stuff. Mm. Built stuff. And that was it. It was it was like playing with Legos with your friends online. Yeah, yeah. And you you had unlimited pieces mm. and could go absolutely crazy yeah. mm. and try all sorts of dumb stuff. And now it's at that point where I'm like there is too much to that game. Well, I, I even heard like I haven't it's gone I, a little I play it on console, so it's behind on the yeah. updates. And when I hear about what PC is at, I'm like that's Yeah. Oh yeah. I was just getting I'm, used to the stuff that I have on I console. Remember, I remember paying Ten dollars for that game, oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. and now it's like a full fledged forty dollar, fifty dollar release. Yes, it makes absolutely no sense. Like, the, the, I'm coming from the history and the background oh, of yeah, how yeah. we played it yeah. on the computer. It's like yeah. now this has gotten way too saturated for me. And you're paying for skins on the like Xbox and everything else. I can like, I, I can install my own skins. But again, people are paying for all this. Like, it's oh my big, gosh, big, big, lots of money in there too. Mm. I mean. The Nintendo stuff actually, it's it's cool. It's better, a little cooler on the Nintendo, but it's not that much better. But again, that's where does it have touchscreen support? I don't remember. I because sh- no. that's where the Wii U. Like no. when I sit there and say something comes out on the Wii U, something mm. like that. If I can actually, or even and, I wouldn't even mind having. Like, I'm gonna say no. Item sure, stuff. I can click yeah. on here and go. Oh, I need, ha- I need dirt it. pieces. I need, I need to craft it. Like sure. Yeah. Sh- if that's all on here for me, that's better than for a console. Again, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say no. I'm playing it on the PC. Yeah. If I play it, I haven't. I don't even know if I could play it anymore. No, I, like I, I'm pretty sure my launcher is no longer the yeah, appropriate. Same. same. A, a buddy asked me to join him on a server. I'm like, how do crap. this again? How do I do that? Yeah. Yeah. Minecraft's a thing. <laughs> all uh, right. All right. So yes, Batman, yep. XCOM. Yep, yep, yep. I think that's about it. I played a little bit more. That Warhammer, Vermintide, Left 4 Dead oh, yeah. thing I told you a little bit about. Yep, yep. I've, I've just about finished it. <laughs> My biggest complaint about it right now is it leans so much on multiplayer that you notice when the server's empty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's like a, I uh... need four, pe- three other people to help me do the next story mission. That's, and I'm waiting for a game. And I'm that's like, where a lot of MMOs, dying MMOs, well, have the only issues. thing that it has that helps is it is kind of left, like Left 4 Dead, where you're like, okay, I can't find a game, I'll host. And I wait. And I just start game. You want to start a game without players and use AI? I'm like, yep. <laughs> and at least there's that, because that's the And the cool piece. thing is, yep. at least when you're in a game, if they find someone, they'll replace an AI for it. Yeah. So you'll be halfway through a mission, and all of a sudden, they, oh, the wizard chick is now actually a real person <laughs> mm-hmm. you know so that's all right but, that's cool then you know what? it was 25 bucks mm-hmm. sure. and... and that's my thing with those online only games yeah. i feel like the price tag should come oh yeah yeah right down because it's like once people really stop playing that game oh yeah right and yeah. at least at least they have the backup of you can use ai so as a side note mm. to online only games mm. The Forza Horizons 2. Mm, sure. I think that's the newest one for Xbox One and PC. Mm. If you buy that game digitally, you can't play that game offline. If you are if you have no internet connection, the game will not boot. Same thing with Gears 4 and whatever they're doing now with their cross-buy stuff. Weird. Yeah. Why? Super friggin' weird. Like, if you wanted to play Gears digitally, I think you need to have some form of... Gears um, were has and a single player. I was gonna say, do you yeah. remember the whole Xbox One thing where they're like, "You yeah, need to be online." Well, they can, j- but pretty s- much hung them up to like. But SimCity did hunt. that too, and yeah. they yeah. released SimCity, and then yeah. they're like, "Well, you have to be connected because everybody's cities are connected." And, and you're going, "I want to build exactly. yeah. my own city yeah. that right. has nothing to do with anybody else." Mm. Right, and so the same thing with Forza Horizon. It's like mm. it's this whole massively wo- 
driving an online yeah. game, you need a little bit of online connectivity, but at the same time, just po- like populated with random names. Sure. And then just do that. Like I uh, gave the example, Vermin died. Yeah. P- plan AI. Yeah, sure. that works there. Yeah. Why not yeah. in Forza Surely Horizon? Surely won't be as good, but but you yeah, have like, something. Yeah, but like yeah. You, and that game is, it's it's good. Mm. Forza Horizon Two is good. It looks really, really pretty. Forza games are great games, right? If you have a capable enough PC, it looks and fantastic. Yep. But the fact that you can't play that online or play that single player mm. without an internet connection, yeah. not. And I'm saying there's an argument to be had. You're on a PC. Mm. You're gonna always have an internet connection. That's yeah. That's gonna happen. Yeah. Unless but my internet port dies out on me, like right. Yeah. It's like, but. That's kind of weird to think that that's their vision way back when the Xbox One came out. It's yeah. actually coming to fruition. Yeah. <laughs> right? And again, the biggest piece like, is now, especially because when that came out, internet companies in the States had limits. A lot of them in mm-hmm. Canada didn't. Mm. Now, Canada, we're at that point now where we're getting. We have data caps. Yep. Mm. Well, if I always have to be online, like that's. I'm playing a single player game and you're eating away at. What are you? Some what is going behind? Data. What yeah. are you using in the background yeah. that requires an online connection? And for me, it's not that big a deal. I have a fairly large data cap, which will be getting bigger. Mm-hmm. Like I can pay for unlimited if I really wanted to. There are people who are stuck out in the country who have. They're a, still on like, dial-up. Mm, they are not even dial-up. Out. They're on like what? satellite internet, which but has it's got a cap. But yeah. it's got a cap because there's only so like. Well, when I used to live out there, yeah. If you use and also the other that was the worst part too. If you used your cap, they cut you off for 24 hours. That's ridiculous. Yeah. So like, you'd be literally playing, you know, your game, and if they all of a sudden went, oh, like is this them? You somehow used up your internet. And like is this mic- something about like Microsoft saying like we don't want we want you to always be online? That's that's what bothers me a little bit about yeah. their thought process. And thankfully for PCs, we'll always find ways because that SimCity all of a sudden mm. became one of the most pirated games because people were like, "Do you want a copy? You can play offline. Here you go. We found. We bought the game. We broke it. Have fun." Mm-hmm. And see, that's the, the dumb part is the whole reason why they usually have that feature is to counter piracy, yep. and then it creates piracy. It's a it's a it's a really <laughs> vicious loop cycle. Wow. Yeah. So that, I thought that would you talking about yeah. being things online. Oh, yeah, I, yeah. I, I read that article today, or yeah. not today, like a couple days ago, mm. about Microsoft. The, it's because you don't buy it on Steam. Right. You, Gears Four and Horizon, you don't buy it on Steam. You buy it on the Microsoft Store. Oh, right, right. So you need to be on. Because you can win, buy. You need to be Gears, on Windows Ten. You can buy Gears Four on Windows Ten, and it yeah. automatically adds it to your yeah. library. And, and vice versa. Yeah. It's a vice. It's a cross yeah. buy system. Yeah. yeah. So, I just thought that was really yeah. weird to hear, see that from Microsoft. Um, another elephant in the room. Pokemon Sun and Moon. Sun, the special demo is out. It is. Go play it. It's 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 po- more it's more Pokemon. Honestly, like the, uh, there's nothing to complain about more Pokemon. Uh, if you had played the special demo from Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire a couple years ago, it's basically a small snippet of a portion of a game that's not actually in the full game. So when you load this special demo up, you. I, I can't pronounce the city's name. I think it's like ha- ha- Hawaii or something like that. I don't know. Hawaii? No. Well, well the entire <laughs> the Alola region actually is, oh, yeah. Hawaii. Based, yeah. is based off of Hawaii. Mm. But Hawo City or something like that. Yeah. It's actually not going to be in the full game. So mm. when oh, you so start... they created their own little city for the demo? Yeah. No, no. The city is in the game, but oh. the story around the city won't be oh, in the, the full same game. Story so it's like these, the these game, NPCs yeah. aren't going to be there or yeah. like these ones only exist in the special demo kind of stuff. Okay. You start... The game with Ash Greninja, like right off the bat, you get a letter in the mail that says, "Hey, so and so, or hey, son, I'm uh, glad you made it into Alola. I hope this, I hope my Greninja will, you know, mm. help you out on your journeys." <laughs> then there was no name on the envelope. <laughs> <laughs> well, we all know where that came from. So yeah, you you start with the Greninja. In the anime, he has a very special gray ninja. This Greninja, it's not a mega evolution. You remember Mega Evolution, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, to write Mega Evolution in the show for Ash, he doesn't ever get a Mega Evolution. But oh, he man. has this Greninja yeah. who... Mind melds. It's, a, it's like a mind meld. They call it a battle bond in the game yeah. where he sort of merges with the Greninja on a spiritual level. Like, they're still separate entities. Oh, so they... But they yeah. merge, and then his it's got a different costume. He's got a different color scheme. He's got a big water shuriken on the back rather than yeah. none, Yeah, I think. 
So, so they kind of made it an excuse for Mega Evolution. Yeah. For, just so specifically just for, for one Ash. guy. Just for Ash. Oh, okay. And I think for story purposes, that's yeah. that makes sense because you're not going to yeah. give him Mega Evolution. So you start with the Greninja. And that is the only Pokemon that you get in the entire demo. Hmm. You don't, you, you, there is a catching mini game off to the side. Yeah. But as far as the demo purposes go, that's the only Pokemon you get. Hmm. You can get a taste of the different Pokemon that you see in the region because hmm. there is a wild battlefield area, which is cool. Hmm. Uh, you get to see some of the new flying Pokemon, the, the new Zangoose type Pokemon, it's like a the Ratatas of the region. yeah, like the oh. com the common Pokemon, oh, right? Like the, so, yeah. and there is a mini story set in this special demo. Again, you can't play this in the full game. Mm. It's they call them trials because <laughs> if you if you're not a familiar, they've taken gems away, <laughs> they've taken HMs away, they have taken Mega Evolution almost away. Yeah, uh, and. They're, they're building this entire new system for Pokemon Sun and Moon. Hmm. So how they replace HMs is they're making actual Pokemon, not slaves per se, but like specific, Businesses. specific yeah. Pokemon yeah. that do specific things. So the Charizard that you see oh. from the trailers, that's going to be the one that helps you do the fly. Oh, that's going to be the fly. Yeah. And the Tauros helps yeah. you get through rock boulders. Rock Smash. Um, okay. The the Lapras mm. will be your surf Pokemon, and you can call these Pokemon <laughs> separately from your list. So they're, oh, they're so not going to be part of that. They're not going to be part of your yeah. six. Yeah. So you can just call them anytime you want. Yeah. Which I think is That's the best. Such a great improvement. That is yeah. the best thing you could have done. Because HMs like were the worst. I always yeah. had a Gyarados with the most useless move sets because he was the only one that can learn surf strength. Um, waterfall oh. <laughs> and you just had everything you needed. Yeah, yeah. we called them yeah. HM slaves. They were, yeah. they were they were HM slaves. It was an HM slave. Yeah. And so now with the addition of this, I'm not sure what they call it. Um, it's not a buddy Pokemon, but it, it's mm. this new system where you know the Tauros, you've got your Lapras, yeah. you've got your Sharpedo, you've got your, your Charizard. These are the Pokemon that help you do all those. Jobs. Yeah, move around yeah. a little bit quicker. Uh, and so you can you can assign can them to the D pad. Be in here? Nope, nope. They're separate oh, from wow. the six. Oh, they're wow. separate so from your six. It's like a business yeah. almost, like someone yeah. runs. Oh, you... I gotcha, right. gotcha. Got and no. so you can call them on at any point in time, mm. and it's actually really cool. That's uh, cool. And so the other big change is there's no more gyms, so you don't collect badges anymore. Yeah, they are called trials, and this is more of a Hawaii thing. Oh, okay. Where yeah. when you turn a certain age in Hawaii, mm. you, youths go through you know right yeah. rites of passages that mm. kind of stuff. And so they've translated into this game like your your character's turning eleven now. You're going to go through the various trials on the different islands, and then some That's sort of elite, cool yeah, some sort it. of elite, yeah. elite four kind of thing at mm. the end of it all. And so they have this custom trial that they've built just for the special demo. Mm. It, the overall, the whole story takes place, or the whole demo is like half an hour tops, yeah. mm. and so you can burn through that really quickly. Mm. But they've also made it so that they want you to come back to the game because there's certain NPCs that you talk into the game mm. where it's like, oh, I'm meeting up with this person. He saved, he helped me save my blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah. He's going to meet me here in, when was he meeting me here? Five days. So if you come back in five days, you'll be able to see this person to help me out with this thing. And it slowly counts um, down. And there's various NPCs where it's like, oh, yeah. team, the, the police officer is off to the side. He's like, I just got a hot tip that Team Skull, that's the new organization, oh, yeah, yeah. like yeah. the Team Skull, they, they've got something coming down here in 20 days. Mm. I might need some help. So come back and see me in 20 days here. Kind of thing. So it's, like, yeah. so it's more than just a one plate demo. Yeah. They you they want you to go back and mm. take a look I at. I wish the police were like that. We know yeah. a crime is going to happen in twenty days. <laughs> we're gonna wait Random here. Random civilian, can you come yeah. and help me? It's, it's fantastic. It's well, I mean, it's a and that's Pokemon. It's oh, a Pokemon. Yeah, yeah. It's a Pokemon thing. Yeah. They gotta write it in that fight. Yeah. And so I honestly, Pokemon Sun and Moon is just what I needed. This is and it's a nice fresh new mm -hmm. take on the entire series. The evolutionary keeping... steps I feel are the best ones for the series. So like there's Vulpexes in the game, the new forms that are I that that right like I've talked about this with some buddies who like Pokemon Go kind of got yeah. the conversation rolling, yeah. but like the, the even the sheer idea of oh, we're just bringing back 
the classics you love and giving them a twist. Yeah. And, and the twist awesome. happens because yeah. people brought them to the island. Yeah. yeah. They were killing the natural like wildlife there. Yeah. So the Vulpexes and Ninetales decided they, to move. There's a reason. There's a reason yeah. why well, that's cool. They decided they, to move to a mountainous yeah. region to get right. out of the way of anything yeah. they could actually harm. Right. Yeah. And all of a sudden they're now ice Pokemon. And same thing that's, with and so that's cool. It's evolution. That's, it's actual evolution <laughs> in an evolution game. And the <laughs> biggest so, piece of that one that yeah. I love in this game. Yeah. Is that on all the different islands? There's the bird Pokemon, and yeah. it's a it's essentially a finch. And on every island, it's he's something different. different. Because each island uh, has a different uh, sort of equal, dance ecosystem. But you've yeah. hit like th- you've hit Darwin. Like then, oh, yeah, yeah, it's full Darwin. That's yeah. that's that is Darwin. Darwin's finches is the shtick, and they've actually put different finches. Yeah, and each. Oh They're God, the same that's... Pokemon, so yeah. if you catch one on one island, it'll still register it in your decks. But if you go to the different islands and catch the ones there, it'll add those to the decks. It doesn't add another like oh, a, yeah. another one to it. It's yeah. the same it's Pokemon, just, yeah. same, but it's like different yeah, same forms. slot, but different. Yeah, different. Oh God, that's, so, so you're sitting there going so like, awesome. you've actually because yeah. Mega Evolution was supposed to be that next step, and now yeah. you go no. No, no. Uh, to me, this feels way more natural. It is so, yeah, so yeah. much. And not to say that X and Y were mm. bad. I loved X. Yeah, X and Y were very good. I was actually like, I remember that one live played it. And I remember that I didn't one. Play uh, any ones before that? Yeah. I remember that barrel roll where you guys just played that game and didn't play anything else. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much uh, for the whole twenty four hours, I was you playing fucking Pokemon. Dicks. <laughs> we were doing something else, and you were playing Pokemon, <laughs> you fuckers. Uh, but that's what I mean. Like it was such like that, and yeah. I like, and I like the fact that this game again, I get to make my own trainer again. It's fresh. It feels. Oh, yeah. It actually feels fresh. Yeah. It's brighter. The colors are even when you go to the cave areas. It's still nice and bright. Mm. Yeah. There's, like there's a lot of character and a lot of charisma going on. I'm actually really excited to play this game, and yeah. I haven't felt that way about a Pokemon game in a long time. Yeah, the new evolutions are really the thing that's right mm. doing it for me because it's just and even some of them that are odd. Like executors, muck, muck, uh, muck, like all. Oh, those. But like executor, I, I think I, I think I seen we'll primer see. at least. Oh, but like executors yeah. just oh, yeah, got a really long neck because now he's a palm tree, tree and yeah. you're like, all right. It's so great. Yeah. Behold, drugs. Oh right, yes. Behold, I... drugs. <laughs> <laughs> so what is he? Poison. And now he's dark, dark and poison. Yeah. So what was he originally just poison? Just poison. Just poison. Just poison. Oh, okay. Yeah. And so. And the Rattata's like that too. Yeah. Where yeah. they've written that in the show, or not show, in the story. It's like Rattata's migrated to Alola, sure, but yeah. then they became the target of a lot of predators during the day. Yeah. So they had to start living at night. And, and then, that's yeah. why they become yeah. a dark type Pokemon rather than yeah. a normal type. Yeah. Hmm. And on top of that, like the Raticate's got these oh, big yeah. cheeks. It's yeah. because it has to eat more to survive during the night rather than during mm. the day. And so they've written it. They they've cleverly, actually come out with reasons actually, for the evolution. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's really, really smart. And I don't know who's in charge of them, but they're doing a real good job of them. And that, yeah, that's the biggest piece with all of these. Like This can't be real. No. Okay, good. Because as a side note to this, <laughs> when, the special, when the special demo came out, and yeah. I know your thoughts about this are <laughs> re- reflect my thoughts as well, people data mined the crap out of this demo. Oh, they ripped yeah. this demo two bits yeah. and they essentially the entire Alolan Pokedex has been revealed so even oh, new Pokemon so, yeah. they haven't announced yet yeah. new Alolan forms that haven't yeah. been revealed yet have just hit the internet and I've been trying to keep a good calm mm. mind about it because like I don't I want to be surprised right when yeah. I put the game in I want to be like oh I've never seen this Pokemon before yeah, I wonder yeah. what it does I don't I know yeah. I don't want to know every single stat about it because mm. it happened to be in the game mm. and of course you can't when you release a demo like that, you can't just expect people to cut a portion of it out and give it to you. Right. Mm. Like, you have to keep oh, yeah. certain things in it. That's mm. how programming mm. works. Well, I was going to say, you take... You take again, one... If you, you take, take a, the backpack out of WoW, the entire game Right. Works. It's like that. Like, you take... It's like, oh, you take a Pikachu out of the game, it, yeah. it's done. You, yeah. the, the, the game's broken. You can't just take a portion you of can, it. You can no longer walk. You literally need... And, <laughs> yeah. Or it's like, you've got no head now. Yeah, so. yeah. Characters just walking around, floating, yeah. ha- like, floating right? hat. So, I mean... I get why data miners want to do that. Yes, but it's just it's just a shame that, Is that a they Pokemon the Sandcastle. Yes, there's a new Sandcastle. <laughs> They've revealed that one before. Yeah, and so oh. it's just it's just a shame. It is. Uh, I get from a competitive standpoint um, a little bit of meta because you want to be yeah. a little meta knowledge here. Mm. The Pokemon video game champion, the video game uh, cycle. Oh, that makes sense. The Pokemon video game yeah. cycle doesn't reset 
until December 1st, 2016. Wanna and get so ahead of that game. And so they people want to know which Pokemon are going to be competitive in the 2017 season. And so that from that aspect aspect that, I get it. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. But from like a just I just play the games casually. Hmm. The card game's a little bit different, hmm. but you can't data mine a card game. So you can't <laughs> that's how that works. Yeah. But I just don't want that to be the reason like oh we want to know everything before the game comes out. Mm. Yeah. But there has to be a reason for it. For yeah. the, and then for the competitive people, I get it. Yeah. You want to know because they're actually taking out Mega Evolution in the competitive format as well. You can't mm. use Mega Evolution in the format because yeah. they've replaced it with Z moves. Uh, so Z moves mm. for you, maybe mm. you're not sure. Uh, each Pokemon type has now a Z crystal, okay. and these are moves that you can use once per game. So, for example, there's an electric type Z move. You can once that, per battle. Once per battle. Sorry. Oh, yeah, once per. Yeah. When, I, when I mean game battle. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So you equip it onto say the Pikachu. Mm. The Pikachu can use hi. this. Hi. <laughs> uh, you can attack. You can equip it to the Pikachu, mm. and you can use that attack. It's an, a huge attack. It's got all sorts of animations. You can mm. attach to it. Oh yeah. And then you can use that only once per battle. Mm, okay. And so, that's sort of their their stick. Hi. <laughs> Bye. Mm. It's okay. Mm. And so they're essentially writing off Mega Evolution in the game. Mm. You can still use it in the like in terms of like the, the they, they, they have to keep value. it in the game. Oh yeah, yeah they have yeah. to keep it in the game. Yeah. But they can't keep it anymore in the uh, competitive because it's going to get a little funky hmm. uh, when it comes to com tournaments and competitions because oh, yeah. it's going to be really unbalanced. Because like oh, I'm yeah. Mega Evolved. And they use the Z move, <laughs> <laughs> and so they, at Ouch. some at some point they had to write that out. Yeah, yeah. So unfortunately, mm. hi, hi. This is Nathan. He's my nephew. Hi, Nathan. You want to say hi, Nathan? Hi. Can you say hi? High five. High five. Sweet. Good job. Sweet. So yes, Pokemon. You've been playing. I've been playing the Sun and Moon demo, and again, you, it gives you a reason Mama? to go back because of those no. NPCs. Right. I think it's pretty cool. I mean, mm. you don't really see, you don't typically see demos do that. Like, usually you play it once and whoopsie daisy, he's gone, right? He wants you to keep coming back. Yeah. So obviously so there's no play to... limit for this 3DS demo. There's no play limit for this 3DS demo because there's a lot of items that you can get from those events that you can transfer. I was going to say, full I'm game. like, are these going to be like a, yeah. a continued save game? There is. Yeah. there is. So it's like, oh, you finished this side quest. Here's a nugget for the full game. And it's oh, pretty, it's, cool. it's pretty over. It's pretty like, it's, this is transfer this full, to the full game. That's so, pretty cool. And so, yeah. at the five day mark, go mm. check in with this NPC. At the the ten day mark, go check in with this NPC. The twenty one so day, cool. yeah. and at least it keeps you coming, yeah, back. Right. So mm. by the time the game comes out, you're just like, I'm set. <laughs> I got my nugget. I got my whatever. I, got, I think I got to check it today for whatever <laughs> event goes on today. So, is it the Heritage Classic? Is there a hockey game you play on <laughs> yes. by Pokemon? Uh, it's a, it's Hawaii. They don't play hockey. I don't think they should. <laughs> As a Canadian. <laughs>
the Virtual Reality Horror Hospital. It is a company in Edmonton. They, to give you a backstory, these individuals created a wireless computer backpack that hooks up to an HTC Vive with two controllers. They've programmed this entire room in virtual in virtual space and then lined it up with an actual room. And so you wear these goggles and you're in this room with this wireless computer. So you can just walk around. You don't have cords to trip on. And it's this entire VR experience in a horror hospital. Hmm. You're saying horror, not horror. horror. It's a horror. It's it's scary because it's that's what, the, that's what <laughs> virtual reality is for. I'm sorry, Nick out. Oh, yeah, it's fantastic. It's it's really good. It's not and, a horror hospital. Horror. 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 horror, 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 horror. Say that ten times. Scary. Fast. It's it's pretty creepy. See, I that's admit. cool. Cool. And so I think that t- I was more interested behind the tech when we were I was I was went with Anthony yep. and I was asking more tech questions than the lady had answers for because <laughs> I was like well what kind of computer do you guys have what, what is it what kind of things are you running behind the scenes to get mm. this to work because it was really cool there was a scene where we were standing in the room and then the floor starts disappearing like it starts dropping yeah. out and of course my brain's looking down at me like. There's no floor there. But I know that if I put my foot forward, the floor is there, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they must have timed it somehow where there was a pathway to walk to the exit. And while we weren't looking, they put foam pads on that line. So we walked there virtually, and I was like, that's weird. That w- Okay. And so apparently I did the whole hands out, trying to balance my way on something that wasn't actually there. <laughs> Um, there's a lot, it was super cool. I think that is wicked. And I mean, it was only 10 minutes long. And, oh yeah. And if I were to look back, I would probably wouldn't have paid the money for it. <laughs> but I don't have the money for virtual reality right now. I was going to say the way that, but mm. so. Yeah. And that's. In, in, in hindsight. It's almost a demo in a way then. It is. Yeah. It is a demo for, for, um, virtual, virtual mm. reality. The, and the one big thing for that is like you're saying is. You almost have to pay for that because people are literally sneaking around you clearly, yes, like putting putting oh, stuff yeah, around their bodies. It's not just the computer staff. process yeah, anymore. Right. There's now staff involved in trying to like make that experience that much yeah, more yeah. right. And so the whole like backpack not having to worry about cords tethered to a computer mm-hmm. that was completely interesting to me because I've never experienced virtual reality without cables. Right? Oh yeah, yeah, right. And so we had our controllers. We could see each other. Sorry, in this virtual environment. And it's like, oh, hey, we had our controllers. So we're like, hey, how's it going? And, you know, we're looking at stuff over here. I remember the first room that we loaded into, there was a TV on top of a chair. Mm -hmm. And it was all staticky. And, of course, it's all horror. So it's like, oh, that's the, you know, that's the thing. And then I remember, or Anthony was like, oh, you know, we got to go take a look at over the ledges, kind of look around the objects, kind of thing. And here I'm like, there's physics on this TV. (laughs) <laughs> flies across the room. He looks back. He's like, "Where's the Where's the TV?" I'm like, "It's over there." <laughs> <laughs> and so, like, there's dumb things you can do like that. There's a sequence where, you know, there's jump. There was a jump scare surrounding us. There was it was clearly a jump scare. Yeah. And we did the whole back to back thing, like instinctively. You like you saw us on the the outside foot. It's like yeah. those guys are going back to back, and there's nothing in the room, but they're going back to back. And then apparently, I jumped into him. <laughs> when they were attacking us. <laughs> so it's like, virtual reality, I'm ready for virtual reality. Mm. Like, my wallet isn't. Yeah, no. <laughs> but, but you, and I mean, you're the no. most excited about... Oh, I, I'm, so, I'm so ready mm. for it. But it's just, my money is not ready for it. <laughs> uh, and so we I had a chance to try that out. And he, he knew some of the creators <laughs> for for the game. And so it's like, oh, yeah, no, we're supporting him as well. And apparently those little computer backpacks, there's only, like, they had two of the ten in the world. Oh, my God. Kind of stuff. <laughs> that kind of thing. And yeah, I, that's money. And, no. and it, you know, I, it total, the cost totally justifies what it is they're doing. Because yep. yeah. apparently they were booked weeks wow. in advance. You had to book your... your uh, yeah, time slot weeks in advance. That's nuts. Yeah. That's cool, though. Like, that's, mm. that's legitimately very cool. And I was thinking, like, above all the other things you could do, not just horror, yeah. like chat room stuff. You could do, 
a virtual like fantasy thing where when you have the sword and stuff like that with the wireless backpack. Again, you went to a different place than in my mind Porn. when you say fantasy, like you know, Porn. virtual fantasy. Porn. A, ho- a horror hospital. <laughs> horror hospital. <laughs> A whore hospital. A hospital. <laughs> when you first said that, I yeah. thought you were going somewhere totally different for this story. And then you and Anthony went, and it's like... <laughs> <laughs> we had a good time in the whore hospital. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> and so, yeah, no, I, I think that's... I'm, yeah, my, my, I'm ready for it. i just waiting for it to be either cheaper or more feasible. Yeah. Because as soon as you can make it wireless, there's so many more things you can do. Cool. So that's what I've been up to this week. Nick. Nick? Uh, I started playing Vampire the Masquerade Redemption, which is an old you've, school yeah, ni- yeah, 1999 yeah, I always see vampire you. RPG. I always see you go was, back to that. Hey? I remember being very... like I was so intrigued as a kid by that game. I was so intrigued as a kid, but never got a hold of it. Yeah. And then as an adult, I got it on a Steam sale and played it, and I'm like... Didn't age well, but oh my god, is this interesting? If you got it on Steam, it's Bloodlines, which oh, is yeah. the third, or is, which is the yeah. first person game. This oh. is actually a third person click at like. So you start yeah, off in oh. Prague, yeah, a bajillion years ago in Prague, yeah, mm-hmm. and eventually you you move up to the next time era, and then you end up in New York during a certain time era, and then you end up oh, somewhere else. Cool. So I'm gonna do yeah. Redemption, and then I'm gonna yeah. play Bloodline. Bloodlines, way better game. Oh, I bet. This game is very... Like, you open up, and he's lying in bed dying, your character. Yeah. Because he's been gravely wounded, but he's still going to get up and fight some demons after. And his hand is, like, clubbed almost. (laughs) Only because, ten seconds later, he picks up his sword. uh, (laughs) His fist is already free. That's the only way his fist (laughs) will ever look... It's pre-era, pre era, pre two thousand yeah. programming. Yeah, there's no yeah. skeletal structure in those. <laughs> so yeah, I figured for Halloween, I'd, I'd kind of delve into some of that stuff. And if there's not a bunch of trailers to drop next week, we should be able to play something kind of spooky, scary, yeah. being Halloween. Oh with. yeah, I would love to oh, get God. you. Honestly, I would, no. I, would, <laughs> no. I would really love to get you to play Resident Resident Evil Seven demo on PlayStation Four. Oh, the Biohazard one, right? Yes. Yeah, that's well, what's called, right? Well, it's called Resident Evil Seven in North in English. People. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that oh, I would love to get see him in that. Oh God! But but that's what I've been playing. Yeah, my anxiety is already up. <laughs> it's pretty scary. I played that, and then I also reinstalled DCU Online <laughs> on my computer to see how well that game's kind of stood up. Mm-hmm. And unlike, because World of Warcraft, I mean, every time new expansions come out. The yeah. game itself improves. Yeah, yeah. So if you go back and you've never, like, you haven't played it since it first came out, and you come back, it's a new experience. It's, mm. oof. I mean, oh yeah, yeah. The mechanics are still the same. You click on things, you press buttons, you you know, you yeah. collect armor, you put it on. Da 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 da. This one, the intro still has not changed. Mm. They are on like because they sell their expansions. They're small stories. Mm. Oh, so yeah. they sell them for four bucks, mm. and you get the next part of the story. Mm. But the story still starts off with, like, Lex coming back from the future oh, to right. spread his, like, nanobites out to give everybody powers, and you yeah. get kidnapped by Brainiac and have to escape his ship, and then you end up so in... So the intro is basically the same. For, it hasn't changed. Yeah, that's really... In however many years that game's been out now. Oh, I even like, remember still playing through uh, that. Too. And you're like, uh-huh. woof. And now they used to do it where they sold powers individually. Oh, yeah. So mm-hmm. you could pay, like, yeah, I remember you again, you pay that. four yeah, bucks, yeah. get power. Yeah. You pay five bucks, you get the shield weapon. Yeah. So eventually you've spent maybe 20 bucks, but you have the hero you want, and yeah. you're done. Yeah. And then if you spend enough money, mm-hmm. you unlock, like, the next tier of free ML. Freemium. The freemium. Freemium. So yeah. it's like, oh, you can build more characters now, and you can have this, and you can have that. Yeah. Now, if you want the powers, you buy them all together, and they come for, like, 50 bucks. Oh, so you're basically buying the whole game in one. No, 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 that's the powers. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Hmm. To get that and the first like twelve story pack kind of mm. things, plus the shield weapon, like all that oh, stuff, no. is about ninety bucks. Holy crap! Oh. So for why? me, sitting there Go going back to micro transactions, super micro. 
Like this Super is micro, like yeah. for me, like yeah, not just paying four whole, bucks for a power. Don't bundle the whole freaking thing and I am never going to use rage as a superpower. Oh, I yeah. want my Green Lantern ring back. Yeah. See, and I want I would like my speed power. I would you like can have that. Yeah. Speed is fine. Yeah, I'd, like, I'd mm-hmm. have my speedster stuff. Yeah. I don't even remember what power I used. Other but now the, and then they've added a new power for yeah. movement, so you actually create like the Invisible Woman's discs underneath your feet, and you can skim through the sky. Okay. You have to pay for. Or, <laughs> But that's really? part of one of those packages the giant now. Package. So, yeah. is, at, at any point, does this feel like ca- a cable company? <laughs> yes, yeah, so you kind of. And again, you look and it goes. Or it's like I just want this power for this next episode. Yeah. It's four bucks, and you go for an expansion that gives me maybe two hours of story. Four bucks, cool. Yeah, yeah. like a, a raid. So those look decent. Yeah. And then you hit up on the powers and the things that actually affect you. Yeah. Bases, all this other, like all these things, and it's Ugh. like it's gonna, that's gonna. Ugh. It's like coax you in with four dollars. Is there, dollars is there any like one yeah. single payment that gets you everything? No, there's one single payment that gets you pretty far into the game, and that's that ninety dollar one. Ugh. And that's ninety dollars Canadian. Like that's yeah. like, okay. I, yeah. So about so, so no about seventy ish. Yeah. USD or something, uh, like something like that. I think it's seventy five US. Yeah. And I mean, and then they sit there and go, "Well, the total pack would actually cost you if you bought all the stuff individually, a hundred and fifty. So really, yeah. we're giving you one heck of a deal." And I'm like, "You're giving me a better deal before, and I spent more money on this before. Yeah. So when I, you just yeah. let me buy oh, man, individual wanted. pieces. So, yeah. Oh man. So that was my my experience with that game, where I'm like, I don't know if I'm gonna come back to this because now hmm. I've tried to mix up a bunch of heroes, so I go super fast. Yeah. I use gadgets like Batman. Yeah. A bow and arrow like the green arrow. And I forgot what my other thing was. But I'm like, oh, and then my costume kind of looks like someone else. And I'm like, yeah, that's how I'm going to pull this. Like, I'm going to mix all of them up. <laughs> Call it a day. Captain everything. <laughs> well, I can't have a shield weapon. I wonder why. You can. You can pay for it. Oh, you can? Oh, yeah. oh man. That's a premium weapon. Oh, can't buy it separately. Nope. And then you can buy cosmetic stuff. So right now with Suicide Squad out, you can buy like a Harley Quinn look for um, your guys. Or you can buy, yeah. But that costs you in-game. Like not in-game money that you collect in-game, but... It's real money. IRL. Real money that you pay for points that you can then oh, use for... Oh, it's one of those sneaky things. So it's not even like pay four bucks and just get all the Harley Quinn stuff. It's like spend 600 like coins, coins for this hate. thing. Currencies like that. But then and they Pokemon still have goes like that too. Uh, yes, but I'm then they sitting still there in like a ten coin limbo because there's nothing I buy that like cost ten Ugh. coins. But yeah, then they're sitting yeah. there in this game. Like you still have the money in game that you can use mm. plus those mm. coins plus real world money. For How much stuff. Pre- is there? Like a premium currency you can't buy even. No, there's, no you, there's a, all the premium currency in that game you have to be, like, you purchase Ugh. with real money. It's not like you can gain it in-game and slowly, like, like build yeah, yourself Yeah, it's kind of like World of Tanks where there's silver and gold. You yeah. Know, gold's real money uh, and silver's... And that's where I still can love... Use, you can use gold to buy silver. That's where I still love, yeah. like, World of Warcraft. It's mm. it's gold, silver, and copper. Mm. Yeah. Done. Yeah, there's no tricky... And, I mean, there yeah. is a way now to sell game time, so you can buy a month and actually sell it on the auction house for gold. Oh, but you hmm. get a little token, like a token of life or something yeah, stupid, yeah, and you yeah. put it on the auction house, and they're selling for like well, even twenty thousand gold. Eve can kind of. That's, yeah. that was Eve. That was yeah. a big Eve thing. So that's yeah. the big they thing. If you, yeah. if you have enough gold, you can literally pay for your game time with your in-game money. But yeah. that's a lot of grinding. That's a lot of money. Uh, but yeah. So that's the big thing. So yeah, I was playing. I played those two games, and other than that, it's been my regular Animal Crossing and whatever else I can fit in when I have time. I'm still trying to finish Casino Blade Chronicles. And, like, feverishly uh, before Sun and Moon come out. Because <laughs> I know then, once it comes uh, out, I'm not playing. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, next, even for me, next week, holy crap. What's up next week? Well, Is it I'm school stuff? getting my copy of Battlefield 1, which came out on Friday. Don't even talk about the release schedule for that dumb thing. Right. Oh, holy yeah. Oh, crap. yeah. But, That's a news article in and of itself. So I'm getting that on Thursday, but on Tuesday is... Skyrim Remastered and Titanfall 2. So, Skyrim Remastered. Yeah. I thought, oh, wait, no, never mind. You don't have a computer. <laughs> I, thought, I thought it was oh, a free yeah. upgrade on the computer. It is a free upgrade on the computer. Okay. Yeah. Steam just says, here you go. Same thing. It was patched. Bioshock. Okay. Yeah, you know, the yeah, exact same thing. But you're, you're, I'm, I'm assuming you're yeah. getting it on the Expo? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I thought that, for some reason, I thought Skyrim Special Edition was out already. On the, on the back of my mind, I thought it was already out. I think it's because the PC made it look like it was already out. Well, because, yeah, HD mods and all that they, stuff. They've yeah. been, yeah, been, like been modded to death. So like, literally, old. all Skyrim Remastered is is 
you're on the next gen console. Right. We've <clears> added <throat> some of those mods default, and we let you have mods on console. Oh yeah. It's apparently we, I, we there's no or the news about PS4, Skyrim, and Fallout 4 never stops. Oh, oh, regards to right, mods. Oh, so I mods like we oh. we had we had a, oh. a brief update. Mods are allowed on the PS4. Yes, we did that last there, week. But there mm. was an asterisk apparently tied to that. Oh. Another asterisk. It was the you can only use oh. in-game assets for mods oh. on the PlayStation 4. Oh, so if someone went balls for the wall, you can't have a giant. Mar- you can't have a giant John Cena going. It's me, John Cena, in the game, <laughs> on the PlayStation Four. You need to use in-game assets. Oh, okay, that blows. You're right, and so it's like yeah. mods, asterisks, with yeah. in-game yeah. assets. So it's a really so limited mo- pool. So it's more along the lines that you can use it to optimize the soft, like the system, like the game UI, HUD, that mm. kind of stuff. You can do that. But yep. in terms of, like, importing... Like, totally like, new things. Yeah, yeah, you can't do that. Yeah. Uh, so it's, it's kind of a bummer, but at the same time, it makes sense. It's, like, yep. within the Sony ecosystem, they want mm. to make sure it's kind of contained, but they don't want people importing, like, oh, no, Master Chief is in, in yeah. Skyrim, hmm. kind of thing. No, my... And then, that, um, that was weird when I read that asterisk after our thing well, last but... week. <laughs> And then, yeah, um, I canceled my Show Me subscription because Show Me is about to cancel itself in Canada. <laughs> I never had a Show Me subscription anyways. We, there were some shows yeah. on there that we just we liked watching. Oh, so yeah. Like, so you just, sure, exactly. You know, done. Kind of like I did with the adults when I'm wanting my yeah. $3 a month and I can get Rick and Morty and Robot Chicken whenever I want. So for me, I, I sub- bought Rick and Morty. Oh, I think I bought the first season of... Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, on DVD, yeah. Yep. But, you know, I'm like, okay, Show Me's going out because apparently mm-hmm. there's no money in streaming television. They're doing it wrong. Uh-huh. Um, so I'm like, well, I'll go check out Crave TV again, because they're the other streaming yeah. service we get here in Canada. Is, it, is that yeah. the Crackle one? Oh, no, no Crackle's Crackle. Crackle's Crackle. Crave is another streaming one. Yeah. They have Seinfeld, they have Cheers, they have like a bunch yeah, of... Yeah, I think ones. I've seen their commercials. I've yeah. watched Cheers and Seinfeld. Yeah, yeah right? and so that's why I first hmm. got it, but then all of a yeah, sudden hmm. I have that and Show Me and Netflix, and I'm like, I do not need three streaming services. Hmm. I will cut myself down to two, and Show Me had more stuff that we would watch in this house. Yeah. So I cut Crave, because I'm like, I'm not watching repeats of Seinfeld. Like, I can do that with TBS Superstation. Oh, yeah, yeah. If I really want to watch Seinfeld, it's on TV. Yeah. But now that it's gone, I'm like, well, I'll try it out again. Well, they have all, they have Legends of Tomorrow and Green Arrow and... Really? The Flash, so I've started watching The Flash. Now, from... are those, like, up-to-date yeah. episodes? All so it's see. like, how, how much is that one? That's eight ninety nine or nine ninety nine a month or whatever it is. Okay. So, but you can actually view their library before you sign up. That's okay, cool. it's not, not it's not so much the library. I, like I know yeah. when Arrow comes out, I know when yes. Legends comes out. It's more, and I don't know uh, how up to date those shows are, but there are shows on there that go like new episodes, new episodes, new episodes, okay. new episodes. Because it's been it's becoming increasingly more difficult to become a pirate. Yes, for TV shows, like it took me forever to f- well, find Agents mm-hmm. of Shield last this week. Oh, Agents of Shield's on there too. Well, yeah, and if if I can pay <laughs> yeah. nine dollars and just have it that even the next day without having me to look for it. Yeah. That I think I would be okay. Look it with up that. online and see what their release schedule is kind of like. Because yeah, like cuz I can pay Google Play. Yeah. Like you know, and that's what I've been doing. The $30 for all of the current season of Flash. Mm. And then I just get it that day. That's how but I get my John Oliver. Money. That's what I do for South Park. But that's a lot of money in my mind. Like I mean For me it's not cuz I look at it I'd look at $30 for a season of shows. Yes. And $30 for a digital movie or 25 well, bucks for a digital movie yeah, and I go yeah. That's a lot. Yeah, yeah. You get, Thirty dollars, and I get even thirteen episodes. I think it's the convenience, right? Yeah. It, and it, for me, it, it's... it comes to the convenience where it's like well, I don't have to search out. But the, thirteen these... hours of entertainment for thirty bucks. Yeah, well, I'm okay. I even come from the mentality of I used to live out in the countryside. Yeah. we didn't get mm-hmm. good TV. Yeah, so we'd buy DVDs all the time. Yeah. Yep. Well, for me yep. to buy South Park for twenty five, yeah, right. For me to buy South Park for twenty five dollars is like, well, I was gonna buy the DVD. If I was still living out there, I'd have bought the DVD after it finished. And, and I was, so many of them don't anyway. do commentaries anymore. It's useless mm-hmm. to buy the DVD. Like, oh, the yeah. DVD commentary yeah. has yeah. become a thing of the past, and I mm-hmm. don't get it, because it's the only reason I would ever buy physical oh, yeah. discs, yeah. is right. for the bonus features, and right. they keep cutting bonus right. features out, and I'm going... Well, mm-hmm. we're doing... Dude, just do it digitally, then. So the that's right. Physical I'll have to take a look at that yeah. Grave TV, because, yeah, like, it's been... And, I mean, there's something about being frugal, about yep. being a pirate. I mean... Mm-hmm. But if it's a solid, $9. and the only, and the other reason I cut Crave last time was they did not have Chromecast support, 
And now they do. Episode. Now they do. And that was the big factor mm-hmm. is our smart TV, smart. because it's the only damn thing you can buy, had the Crave app. So we could oh, watch it on the yeah. one TV in our house. Yeah. All my other TVs with the Chromecasts <laughs> on them, yeah. you couldn't do anything. Do anything with it, yeah. So, mm-hmm. so I've been catching up on The Flash. Because which ones of those are on Xbox? Because I only ever watch it through. Oh, Maybe yeah. If it's apps. on the PlayStation, that would be yeah. pretty handy, too. Yeah. So <laughs> check. I, it's, I know I it's on Xbox crackle. One. Because well, there's an announcement X- that says Xbox, like, Crave TV on yeah. Xbox One. Yeah. So, Well, so I'll take a look. I mean, yeah. it, But at the very least, it, least, it's got Chromecast. And Amir knows that you use Chromecast. Yeah. And it'll be easy to find Once Upon a Time for her, too. Because I'm assuming Once is also on there. If it's ABC. Because you said Agents is on I there. I think Once Upon... No, I'm not sure. Although, it's weird, because Once Upon a Time is all on Netflix. On Netflix. But not Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Where we live. <laughs> yeah. Where we live. Welcome a very, to very different Canada. Yeah. Weird. How's your weird. Star Wars treating you? <laughs> yeah. How's your Star Wars treating you? We get some stuff. We don't get everything. <laughs> America still doesn't have Force Awakens on Netflix. Really? And it came out fairly quickly. Actually, we have an agreement. We have a very special agreement. It came out so quickly that I felt Couple months. dumb buying it. Me too. Mm. Like I'm like, I think I wanted it for the special features. What? Uh, Force Awakens. Yeah, but oh, yeah you can, I... they're digital yeah. too. If you no. like, no, on no. Netflix though. Oh, on Netflix, yeah. You, you don't, don't get, get you don't get the special yeah. features on yeah. Netflix. So that I, I, that's why I was thinking about it. I'm like, yeah. But there's so much stuff that I could actually, and it was. It's totally mm-hmm. worth the special features. So. Oh yeah, yeah. Beyond that, uh, we're we're just looking on the Crave TV yeah. side. Ignore <laughs> us looking at a TV. <laughs> the distance. They've got there's all that. the old HBO stuff. Uh, I'm not interested in HBO. I want to watch The Sopranos again because yeah. I love The Sopranos. Pacific. 007 collection. Meh. They do this all the time, so they do yeah. Halloween stuff. Oh, that's cool. Uh, dramas, there's 254 dramas. I don't. But it's not split up like Netflix, where you click like comedies, and it's like, we'll give you some. Oh, it's all of them at once, isn't it? It's, this is all of their that's comedies. That's kind of good. That's kind of cool. I'm okay with that. Well, I have that. I should look into this. There's a lot of stuff that I... Oh, my God. There's, there's, there's a better list. John of... Oliver's own stuff? John Oliver stand up stuff is on Man. here. Corner Gas, if you're Canadian. Toronto together. <laughs> yeah. But like Grease Live, which was on TV. Like, it actually has more stuff that oh. was on. There's a lot of BBC stuff on here, too. Yep. Huh. Joel of George Carlin stand up. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. The ro- all the roasts. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> wow. That's a few of them. They've had a few of them. But yeah, like, it's. Oh, yeah. HBO comedy, oh my half hour specials. So why buy HBO? What, what's the uh, HBO, yeah, HBO right. Go? Yeah, is Game of Thrones on here? No, no. And that's, that's why. why. <laughs> there you go. There's there's, 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 there's a reason why HBO <laughs> Go is still around. <laughs> they have the Showtime stuff too oh. on here. So like they've got a, they've got a fairly like and then yeah superheroes. Okay, so, they've got their own category for superheroes. So let's take a look at the Flash. See what episode? They, oh, they're only on season two then. Yeah. Okay, so season three is... So, so it's, all it's probably two. not up-to-date stuff for yeah. these guys, and I don't know when they'd be posting newer stuff, but... Well, I, what Netflix what, has been doing with their TV shows is, especially for Once Upon a Time and Supernatural... Some of them, they have those deals where it's, yeah, the as next soon as, couple days, it's boom. Yeah, like, so season, for example, season 12 is now airing on TV... Watch all of season 11, now on Netflix. Mm. They did that with Supernatural, That's too. exactly. Supernatural and Once Upon a Time and stuff. Because that's how I keep up with Supernatural. I don't care about Supernatural. Yes, you do. <laughs> yes, you do. Deep down inside, you still care. It's not the I... same show anymore. <laughs> and you know what's funny? People complain about Monster of the Week on Supernatural now. I want that. Yeah, me too. Me too. That's the best part that of was Supernatural. That was. They did this lot, like yeah. the new season that's on Netflix. Oh, yeah? They did one where it was just the two of them went out. They had, like, Monster of the Week where they dealt with a small little thing. And I'm like, this is the best. And then you go online and people are like, why are they doing Monster of the Week Where's (laughs) Castiel? Yeah, Yeah, and they're like, why why isn't this? And I mean, the overarching story. It's like Buffy. There's an overarching story that's still in there. But it was the boys who went to a town, found a problem, and went... Three, three or three, four seasons three were seasons. really good. Yeah, three or four seasons. And the reason amazing. the monsters were acting up was because of this overarching Arcing sure. event. But yeah. it was still yeah. a self-contained bubble. Abuse. They yeah, went to a town That's how I got into the, the show. Problem. I watched a random episode somewhere in the exactly. middle. Yeah. And, and went, you can oh, catch this it. is cool, and you could follow You can it. jump in almost any time. You can and of course, that overarching story is what intrigued you to, oh, what's that, though? And you want... Right, it's, and then like they have the beginning at the end where it's like, yeah. oh, we still need to get this, we still need to do this. Yeah, to, you have to, your yeah. big bad, and then you work your way up 
right. yeah. towards that guy. But, it's but just, you could watch a self-contained episode and not be like, what? But now oh, Supernatural yeah. feels so like pieced together in terms of like, oh, if you miss one episode, oh, you're yeah. toast. Well, that's why I even we, started the yeah. new season, it's like, and I'm like, I don't remember what happened. Like, last. this person's dead in oh, this yeah, episode, yeah. that's why you'll never see him in the other ones. Yeah. But then, like, or if he comes back, I'm back from the dead. You died? <laughs> <laughs> when did you die? So it's Supernatural's gotten a little fan fan servicey in that sense. But, I mean, I'm back from the dead again. I don't, I don't you died feel... twice. <laughs> You'd be surprised on like, Supernatural. But I don't want to feel hipstery about Supernatural. But it was really good when I watched oh, yeah. it on TV. And the other, the, the biggest point I always point out is it was actually kind of scary. Yes, my yeah. sister couldn't watch it a lot. It's not horror anymore. It's no. all yeah, and that's and we didn't mind like because all horror kind of naturally. Yeah, curves into kookiness, but you know, especially when it's been on for that many seasons. But yeah, yeah. no, this one like they this, almost are running out of ideas. But this season, so. where they are, where they brought that kind of stuff back, and people are now complaining. I'm going bring back Monster of the Week. I don't care about yeah. any. That's like, exactly what I want. Yeah. yeah, that's exactly what I want out of my stuff. So, either who, that's what I've been doing. Mm-hmm. That's what they've been doing. Yes, that's what we've all been doing. This has been the post credit. Should we should change the logo so it so, says post credit a little bit bigger. It just says post oh, show. Yes. Yeah, it just says post show. So Blocked either way, it just says post show. Uh, that's what we've been doing. Yes, yep. follow us on all the various social media websites: YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus. Sure. Not. And if you can't find us there, try www.barrelrollnews.com because you'll find your way there if, if you, you go to that website. And if you like what you saw, support us on Patreon: www.patreon.com/brnn. You can find various rewards there. Uh, you know, just take a look. And what are we not on? Instagram or Snapchat? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Screw the system. <laughs> Fuck the police coming straight from the underground. Can you believe this song? <laughs> the articulation of social media. <laughs> our, our Snapchat account is going to be just, just me Tony out. rapping. <laughs> <laughs> Well, now we have to think. <laughs> so with that, everybody, thanks for watching. If you want to see more of our opinions on the news that happened this week, you can check out the Barrel Roll Newscast. It's also on our YouTube page. It'll probably be linked somewhere yeah, or somewhere. We're, here. Ev- we're everywhere. And don't forget to watch Graham Watches, because we got a bunch this oh, week. We have a lot. <laughs> we've got things that were pretty interesting, I right hear. And Quite oh, then we have a history lesson, too. We do, so yeah. that, that'll get posted once it gets edited, because that one needs oh, right. some... That's, that's a little... That little... one needs some trimming. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a new show we're trying out so yes definitely something is. we want to do in the future so yes thanks for watching I'm Nick I'm Tony Graham still 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 <laughs>